welcome to my channel in this lecture i would like to explain about some supervised machine learning algorithms the supervised machine learning means in this we have taken the label data as input to that label data we are applying either classification or regression algorithm then we are get the model okay now in this we are discussing some of the regression and classification algorithms of supervised machine learning before discussing about regression and classification algorithms of supervised learning okay so first we are categorized the supervised learnings that may be regression and classification problems are categorized as maybe basic methods or linear models in basic methods we may using some distance based methods to this distance based methods we are using either nearest neighbors algorithm another algorithm of supervised learning is bayesian trees and another algorithm of supervised learning is a navy based algorithm so coming back to linear models these linear models using the geometric concepts of mathematics okay so in this we are discussing about linear regression algorithm logistic regression algorithm and support vector machines so these concepts we have to discuss in this chapter now first we will try to understanding what is meant by distance basic based methods clear so the distance based methods means in this we have to calculate the distance between different points the distance between different points for example as we know that if you take as two points for example x1 and y1 is one point clear x2 and y2 is some another point so what is the general distance formula to calculate distance between these two points the formula is x2 minus x1 whole square okay plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay so this is and then we have to applying the square root to this one clear so this is one of the uh, distance formula between two points clear so now uh, this distance between these two points we are also called as euclidean distance euclidean distance clear so now why we are using these uh, distance based methods in machine learning algorithms okay means distance based algorithms or machine learning algorithms that classify the queries by computing the distance between queries and the number of internal stored examples okay the meaning of this sentence we will understand later okay so now generally the distance based methods we have to categorize into three types one thing is euclidean distance manhattan distance and minkowski distance okay so first we have to see euclidean distance clear so this is the formula for euclidean distance okay so here we are taken as two points okay so one point is here i am taken as uh, x1 x2 is some another point that is zero clear and another point sorry x1 y1 is one point okay so another point is x2 y2 clear so now what are the if you take us these two points okay so to find out the length between these two points okay the euclidean distance to find the length between these two points is so x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square then we are applying the square root this distance measure is called as euclidean distance so in 
most of the cases we are using to find the distance between any two points in many of the cases we are using the euclidean distance formula okay so this euclidean distance is also known as a simple distance clear so when we are using this euclidean distance means when the data is dense or continuous okay then we are using this euclidean distance clear so what what the euclidean distance gives the euclidean distance gives the distance between the two points clear so let me we may getting uh, doubt for example if i three points x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 then how we are calculating the distance then we have to calculating the distance between x3 minus x1 so x3 minus x2 minus x1 whole square plus y3 minus y2 minus y1 whole square then square root like that we have to calculate the distance between three points okay so this is the distance between two points that is uh, one distance method so another uh, distance metric or method to find out the distance between two points is let us assume take as two points x1 y1 x2 y2 okay so if you want to calculate distance these two points we are using another, another distance method is manhattan distance manhattan distance so the manhattan distance formula is okay modulus of x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 modulus so this is the formula for manhattan distance okay so another type of distance is minkowski distance what's called as minkowski distance by using this minkowski distance we may also generate the distance formula for manhattan and the distance formula for euclidean distance also let's see let's see the the formula for manhattan distance is clear so if you are taking as uh, two points here one point is for example x1 y1 clear so another point is for example sorry uh, here you taken as uh, x1 x2 is one point clear another point we will take for example y1 comma y t is some another point we may also representing in different notation the point okay here i am assuming x1 x2 is one point so another point is y1 y2 okay so now what is the uh, distance formula for manhattan if we consider points like this x1 minus y1 plus x2 minus y2 okay so similar way here we are considering one point is x1 x2 and another point is y1 y2 then what the minkowski distance okay this is x okay point and this is the y point what x point here the x point is x1 comma x2 what are the y point here y1 comma y2 clear so now minkowski distance means okay, sigma i equal to 1 we may having any number of the values for capital x we may having any number of the values for which one capital y for example here a case of only 2 and 2 it may having a 3 and 3 and for, for capital x we are having four values or capital y we are having the four values based upon the number of values to each x that is the value of each one n okay here i am considering for x we are taking two values for y i am taking the which one two values then the formula is modulus of x i minus y i whole to the power of p and entire power 1 by p this is the formula for which one minkowski let's see how we are deriving the manhattan distance or euclidean distance by using this what's called as minkowski distance for example let's assume in this formula let's take as p equal to 1 let's assume p equal to 1 and also let's assume n equal to some 2 let's assume n equal to 2 then what is the initial value of i 1 so x1 minus y1 what is the value of p here? 1. That's why all to the power of 
p plus now value of i is now increased to 2 then x2 minus y2 clear and value of p is 1 okay that is 1 1 okay that is value of p is 1 and again uh, whole to the power of 1 by p here whole to the power of 1 by p means 1 by 1 so 1 by 1 means it is also a becomes a 1 clear so now x1 minus y1 whole to the power of 1 means we are called as x1 minus y1 x2 minus y2 whole to the power of 1 we call as all we are also called as x2 minus y2 so now once if we can see if p equal to 1 the minkowski distance method is also called as a which one manhattan distance clear let us assume if you take as p equal to 2 here let consider p equal to 2 and assume n equal to 2 if p equal to 2 here the formula changed as x1 minus y1 whole square plus x2 minus y2 whole square whole to the power of what will be here 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 means square root that means if p equal to 2 the formula becomes a Euclidean distance. That means from the Minkowski distance, we can also generate the, the distance formula for Manhattan distance and the distance formula for which one? Euclidean distance. If p equal to 1, now the Minkowski distance becomes a which one? Manhattan distance. If p equal to 2, then the Manhattan distance becomes a which one? Euclidean distance. So in general, these are the three distance methods are used to find out the distance among any number of the points okay but